Yo, 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 what up, yo? Time is running out. It's for real, though. We are still the best podcast you've never heard of. You want to listen to dope underground music? You want to hear about dope underground music, upcoming artists? This is the place you need to be. Yes, yes. Holla at us. We only talk about good music on this channel. Yes, yes. On this podcast. But anyways, let's jump right into it. It's your boy Wax, Wax Root TV. Home of the Brokers Podcast, you know. I got my partners with me, my killers with me, my hitters with me. The whole gang is here. No women and children, though. We don't kill women and children. We don't. We don't. We respect family members. Uh, to the left, the one and only. Step on A, born in May. No, I don't play. Got nothing else to say. To the right, <laughs> you got Mr. Lightskin himself. In the place to be. <laughs> Get it. All right, man. So, what y'all gentlemen been listening to past couple days, weeks? Yo, yo. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead, Mr. DC Wild B. Yeah, you can ooh, jump right to, into that. Ooh, I get to set it off. Get to set it, it right off, man. I get to set it off. Yo. Yep. All right. Uh, this new group I've been listening to lately by the name of uh, Coast Contra. Album is titled Apartment 505. Um, it's like a five man cut. And um, the album is pretty dope. Uh, the feel of the album is like old school, you know, boom bat beats. But um, I don't really want to say like conscious lyrics, mm -hmm. but. It's, it's five of five or four. I think it might be four, yeah. but I mean, yeah, it might be four. Anyways, um, yeah, the album is uh, that was pretty decent. Can't lie at all. Yeah, I know we don't we don't do no comparisons anymore, but. Um, you know, it's good to hear, you know, uh, a group, you know, all on the same, per se, level, lyrically, you know, spitting some real shit. Mm. All right. Now, outside of that, I've been listening to this female called um, Queenie. The name of her project is um, Queen of Kings. That came out in 2022. Oh, going back to uh, Coast Contra, that album actually came out this year as well, 2000. Um, I've been listening to, uh, yo, you know what, yo, one of y'all pull that up, I can't pull it up from this phone, that Sire, that Josiah project, I put, that dude, yeah, let me see, that Josiah, and I actually came across that artist, uh, via YouTube, Watch Damn, it. I haven't picked up a YouTube artist in a minute. Like, came across somebody on YouTube in a minute. If y'all watching this on um, YouTube right now, excuse me. I just gotta go through this real quick. Mr. 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 Wax passed me his damn phone. I do not know how to use this motherfucker. Maybe the next time. Yeah. Maybe the next time. <laughs> pull, up our, uh, pull up our chat. You just sent the deck? Maybe the next time. Yeah, so the name of uh, the name of the album is called uh, Mightier Than the Sword. And the artist's name is Josiah the Gift. Mm. And you know, in the beginning of the, of the album, he leads in with the intro, you know, pretty much break, breaking down, you know, where, where the name Josiah, you know, originally originated from. And um, then he just gets busy, man. So he jumps in, I'm, I'm assuming he jumps into the biblical origin of it? Kind of not, not really, not like, see I was about to say somebody else's name and I don't want to say it. Gotcha. I'm just going to say it anyways. Not like on some car shit, uh -huh. but his name per se is, you know, 
He just let you know that his name, where his name came from. Gotcha. But okay. lyrically, it ain't no no like biblical. He just that's just that's yeah, my name. Exactly. It is what it is. He's spitting some real fire. Um, outside of that, I'm still on you know my man Crush Calhoun, heavy. Um, Chris Crack, and that's it, man. You know I'm gonna pass the mic. Obviously, tend to talk for still. I'm gonna pass the mic and let my colleagues, you know, let the world know what they've been listening right? to. Monty That's you, player. It's me, peoples. It's me. <laughs> um, I checked out that um, that joint Bob was talking about as well. I mean, Mr. DC YLP. Excuse me. Part of five hundred five. Cats from Philly. Uh, I really liked it too. Uh, he put me on. And I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was real interesting. Uh, that like it's some it's some stuff that like I could like really uh, see myself uh, delving more in or like you know music or whatnot when I get the time because it takes me time. But um, I like how they formatted the whole album and everything, and it had this like uh, kind of poetry part to it or whatever. So I really, really, I really like that part of it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, moving on. Um, checked out Euro Drew. He came out with Yard Wave, man. And I didn't even uh, realize this came out on March 4th. Mm -hmm. And yo. It's so hard to keep up with shit that we dropped. I don't I think, even know what yo, dropped this past listened Friday. To that. I, think I, listened, I think I listened to yo, like I, half I'm a, of it. Yo, every time Euro Drew raps, I become more and more of a fan. That's my dude, man. Like, uh, really? Yeah. I yeah. be trying, man. Every time, you know, I become more of a fan. So, you know, listening to that, I end up listening to um, going back to the Wolf of Wall Street 2, which they had dropped him and God Fahim uh, earlier that year. So I was tackling that. I was, I was even over on J Electronica, went back to 2020, written Testament. Yeah. And then... Uh, the man that could have been. Yeah. <clears throat> Denzel Curry had dropped some stuff. I tried to. Well, I ain't hear that name in a minute. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, yeah. Get on that way. Yeah, because it, it pops up in my, um, you know, how you're going through it and like you listen to something and then it'll just feed off into like a track radio type of ordeal. Word. And then a couple of his tracks popped up, so I tried to check it out. I ain't get to finish it though, but, you know, it was Denzel Curry ish. Um, Nigo, the dude who I think is, uh, what, he got a clothing line or whatever, I can't even, it's on the tip of my tongue. But he hey. dropped the album, yeah, I believe so, actually. Yep. Home dropped the album, which I thought was okay. It, it, it uh, touches, uh, you know, different genres of, of, of this uh, culture, I don't know what you want to say. It's got Tyler on there. ASAP Rocky, Pusha T, Gunna. Ain't we supposed to get a Push album this year? Yeah, Pusha coming. Yeah. Word. Right. You even got, you know, Pop Smoke on there. And Lil Uzi Vert. I wonder how how long his name gonna be uh, floating around Pop with Smoke features. Time. Yeah, with features and like albums and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it like trying to be disrespectful, but you know, like dudes who had a Pop Smoke feature that they ain't put out yet. It all depends on how hard he was working before he passed on some two That's what I'm saying. You could, he could easily, we don't know, but he could have verses that are left laying around for, not him per se, but somebody who got a, a Pop Smoke verse yeah. for another three years and say, you know what, now it's time for me to put it out type thing. Yeah. So yeah. It's, always, it's always interesting when stuff like that happens, like who's holding on to who, like, this because still- it, Because of, not to cut you off, because, but because the last album they put out, for pop, didn't they say that that was like the last of his his material? Yeah, material. Mm -hmm. Could have been. I don't. I'm not sure. I didn't follow him mm -hmm. or his career heavy like that. But that 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 could have been just the material that he had saved. Right, his like album ready. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If he went and recorded for somebody or somebody sent him something, he was like, "Yo, I need you on this." Yeah. And now they holding that down. Same thing with like Prodigy and P. Like, yeah. I feel like they still could easily have features floating around for for a while. Yeah. That would be dope. I feel like I feel like you don't really hear like a lot of P's uh, like, material because they don't know how to license it. Because mm -hmm. he was independent. 
Gotcha. So, it's like with King Vaughn too. But um, yeah, let me finish up. You know, I checked out uh, like Huss. I don't even know how to really pronounce that. Yeah, I've been struggling to try to pronounce that for a minute now. Went back to Reasonable Drought, Stone of God. Oh, I, I did too. I did make too. It. I did too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I did too. Yo. And that's due to, you know, the, the, the superior uh, joint. Yeah. So, you know, it's only right. Exactly. Crime Apple. Checked out that joint. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, I've been on the Dash. And I've been on the um, Two Peas in the Pod, man, you know. And I got that review. Hey. It'll be out probably about time. Uh, y'all hey. see this. Um, yeah, man. Woo. That thing beautiful right there, you know. Maybe the next time. Huh. Maybe the next time, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. You know, usual other than that, you know. Um, honestly, I've been pretty. It's been pretty easy going for me the last couple of days. Um, so Mav, I know I told y'all about that dude before. Um, he down with that whole uh, the cloth movement. So I've been like just going through his catalog. Yeah. Um, two peas in a pod, obviously. You know, Jay Worthy, Larry June, um, Jaguar and Palisade 2, Prime Apple. I like that as well. I've been, Tenor Talk has been in the rotation, especially at the gym. Yeah. Um, then I've been giving this dude Raheem Supreme a listen because I came across one of his records that I thought was fire. Um, so I've been like trying to get into him a little bit. He had a, uh, what was the name of that track? I can't even remember. Oh, We Danced Naked. The song was pretty dope. So I've been trying to give his stuff like a, a little listen in this catalog, try to figure out, you know, what I like and don't like there. Um, and then just back and forth with stuff that's been in rotation previously, you know what I mean? So nothing too, too crazy. I ain't venture out heavy these last couple, last couple weeks. Plus, I've also been on some stuff like, I don't want to say angry or disgruntled, but I just ain't been looking for new music because I just feel like it be so much sometimes that it's to the point where it's like, you know something's coming out, but you can't remember what came out because... Yeah. So many other things been mentioned in between. Yeah. So Dream, that's, Dreamville. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna ask y'all about next. Dream, Dreamville dropped the project, and to tell you the truth, I only listened to the first two tracks because I I couldn't. I was listening to other shit, and I just pretty much like forgot about it. Forgot I, to go back to it. I wish more record labels would do that, like indie labels, like Cole's label. Like that's dope. That you one an artist of his status and then you taking your whole roster on your label teaming up with Gangsta Grills and putting out a mixtape yeah like that's that you know what I mean Conway did that before he dropped his album but yeah. you know that's taking it back to the, to the 05, 04, 06 you know that mixtape slash blog era mm-hmm. um I think that's dope and you can just say I'm not I'm not too uh what's the word I want to look for you know just he's not up on a pedestal where they can't do it or we can't do mixtapes type thing True. So I think that's pretty dope. You gave it a spin yet or no? No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, or you just, you, you're, you're not going to? Keep it funky. <laughs> Keep it funky. Put them on the spot. Like, that car. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, I might, but it might be like years down the road. Okay, at least you're being honest. Shit, y'all. I, I mean, I've been said that though. Like, yeah, I'm checking for something. I ain't checking for you know. I, I let, I let I you just know. Naturally, um, it's been like that. Like I said, I never even listened to a, a J Cole joint. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll give it a spin. Uh, whole jo- I don't got nothing against Cole. I think he's nice. Everything is just. It. We get it. Yeah. We get it. You know what what it is. Is. <laughs> yeah, so, so when you about to go work out or run, like you have. Do you go in and just play whatever comes on, or do you just? Yeah, man, you I like, play what I like, pretty much. It don't even that that doesn't affect like. You don't go just, in and say like, just, I don't want to listen to this. It's just plug the headphones in. Nah, like I'll be like, I listen. What I'm saying is, I listen to whatever gotcha. necessarily. It it's just that it just keeps me focused and tuned out from you know everything else that's going on in the gym per se. What about and you? I, I'm, I'm light in the gym. I more uh, so go to the gym to run, bro. Mm. Like, Honestly, y'all, I just recently started listening to music in the gym. Normally, I used to, I would just go in the, in the gym um, ears butt naked. Oof, that's tough for me. My head be like this. I hear everything. Like, even my wife asked me, like, how you do that? I just, because I'm so focused, I, would just, I want to just get I in and out. I too, though. I mean, I'm, I've done I'm, it, I'm but... Lottie gagging around me. Nodding my head to some shit I can listen to. I can listen to in my car. 
I just want to go in there and do what I got to do and be out. I love it when you got some music playing, especially when you got some shit on that that give you that little extra to the chest. You know what I mean? You got to do them pull ups, so you got that 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 bar up on you in front of you or something. You got some plates on there. It definitely helped me get through that. Um, love music when I'm running too. You know, obviously I'm, my my run game is light, two three miles, but it definitely helps me to zone out during that process. Um, but that's me though. I met somebody recently who said that they can't run. Homie was like, he, he can't run with like headphones and stuff like that. He said that's a distraction to him. Yeah, I feel him. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know, I feel like I'm the opposite. I wouldn't be able to do with do without. You want me to, you want me to be honest? We mm. might be going off track a little bit. That's fine, it's our podcast. We could talk about whatever. Stuff in your ears, like listening to music, especially like, like running if you're outside, it makes you unaware to everything that's going on around you. So like, that's true. Excuse my language. You can shoot, more you simply get fucking hit by a car because you don't yeah. hear it coming up behind you. True. Or, you know what I'm saying? Gunshots. <laughs> Not saying that we live in a ghetto, but you just never know. Like right. I need to be on point all the time. Right, right, right. I gotta be, you know, aware. You of feel like you need to be on point in the gym though, too. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the shit, because you know any any type of crowded area, like any type of like screaming or whatever, any loud bangs, I need to hear that. Cause gotcha. you know we black, we gotta be mentally prepared <laughs> to make a mean dash. You feel me? I don't I don't need nothing distracting me. I was trying to like put somebody <laughs> on. I think at my, at my job or whatnot. I was trying to put them on. Like yo, that's like a known black thing. You see yeah. one black person running. You're you're everybody, you everybody. You don't exactly. even ask questions. You just exactly. start running. <laughs> I got to be out. Yeah. I need to be around <laughs> every team. Yeah, that's hilarious. Well, I think one of the kings of comedy has said that. You find out later after. Like, yeah. Who, 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 who. <laughs> hey, yo, so it's so I was telling um I forgot who I was saying this to, but that kind of we, we can go off track. It don't even matter. But um, it was like the thing with black people and swimming. So I read something that basically said. Uh, there's things, there's what's called generational trauma. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you have like a mother or a father, well, let's just say a mother, and I'm not trying to be sexist, but you have a mother who's like petrified of water, can't swim, could be a father too. Let's just say both parents can't swim, right? Yeah. And the, some, somebody mentions, you know, swimming or anything, and oh, hell no, nah, uh -uh, uh -uh, nah, I'm good. You feel me? So they're like that, their children see that. Parents never take the children to swim. They may let them get their feet in the water, but because of how they act, now the children act like that. Mm -hmm. And now they in turn pass that down to their children. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Maybe it's because yes. I grew up knowing how to swim. Yeah. I, hate the f I hate the fact that a lot of our people don't know how to swim. To me, it's... But it's trauma, though. It's trauma, and it's kind of embarrassing, and I feel like it's lazy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. It's, it's laziness on the part of the parents, and it's laziness on the part of the individual as well. You don't want your whole damn life. You never wanted to learn how to swim. If you have kids, you should know how to swim. You don't. You don't bring your children to the beach. You don't think your children gonna want to go to a to a pool or anything like that? Like, come on now. Yeah, you know it's nuts when you think about it. When you shower, your head and face is under the water for at least five minutes. Yeah, like, come on now. <laughs> so. I don't understand what the difference is. I mean, if your face is already getting wet, you should be able to just go into some water. It's more, you know, it's more, it's more panic than anything else. When people, when people can't feel the ground underneath them, they start to panic. Mm -hmm. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't per se the water. It's they can't feel anything underneath their feet. You swim? I swim. Yeah, I do. No, I mean like when you're in water, you actively swim. Oh, yeah. Like to get busy. Gotcha. Yeah. What about you? I can swim. Gotcha. So. But that just comes from me as a little kid, you know, going out in the summertime, getting kicked out of the house, going to the going to the public uh, pool, or jumping off the diving board and shit. You got to get back to the top. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. You need to get back to the top because if the lifeguard don't see you, your ass going to drown. My two younger ones is water rats, though. I mean, your daughter, too, because yeah. you give her and Zoe some water, it's a rat. Yeah. That's funny. Um, I guess we can stay off topic. Did y'all see that um, nonsense with uh, Tiger in Black China? 
did. And uh, Rob, Rob Kardashian. I did. Yo, <laughs> what's y'all take on that? And normally we don't even touch on this type of stuff, but whatever. You know what? I, just thought, I thought it was, was kind of comical. Yep. I thought it was. I thought it was comical, and I did not feel bad for her ass at all. Nah. Because, so <laughs> because to tell you the truth, you you out here, you you, you in a spot like you you make it seem like you're doing enough to you know to provide for yourself. And your, and your child alone, what you need child support for. How did you get all three of those vehicles, those high priced vehicles? Now, I don't know what vehicle she said she got rid of, but she said- I think three. one of them was a G-Wagon. Well, she had, from what I've seen in the past, she had a G-Wagon, she had like two Ferraris, she had a Lambo, and she had a, and she had a Ghost. Like, okay, what did you, did you, did you lease these vehicles? Or what, how did you obtain, how did you obtain these vehicles? Not even that. Obtaining, here's the thing though that kills me. And I, I'm not trying to cut you off. Obtaining those vehicles is one thing. As the average man, me and you could technically, all three of us can obtain those vehicles. That's True. not the hard part. It's the upkeep of those vehicles that's going to break your pockets. True. You know what I mean? Especially when you have stuff like a Lamborghini or any type of track oriented vehicle or exotic vehicle or, you know, a, a, a ghost, anything like that. Like, Made the upkeep for that, that'll kill you. You know what I mean? Carbon ceramic brakes and big ass uh, road disc rotors and stuff like that. I mean, slotted rotors on those. But her just saying, but I felt like her just saying, her just putting those, oh, I had to I had to let go of three vehicles and child support in the same sentence sounds stupid to me. Right. So that means, oh, you was relying on child support to pay for these items? Right. Like, come on now, the money's supposed to be for the child. Not for, not for you to go out and buy expensive cars and clothes and shoes and all this shit and plastic surgery and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm just glad yeah, that both of them clapped back in the comments. Yeah. And uh, the fact that she only just replied to Tiger saying LOL said it all. But to me, my thing is, and, and you know, she is, she's got a big enough name and presence and influence to, she could have had some type of business going or multiple I businesses. Thought, hey, we, the, the world thought she did. <laughs> but what was she doing with that money? You know what I mean? Clearly she ain't you know, managing that money right. But you know, I thought that was hilarious, especially the fact that they both clapped back on her, at her on that post. Like, nah, player. But eventually you gonna get older, shit gonna start to sag for you, boy. You, gonna, you, you just plan on getting plastic surgery and cutting your body for the rest of your life for the next fucking 40 years. But that shit shows in the face, though. Yeah, like, come on now, like. Shit, be looking crazy. Uh, uh, you do. Uh, 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 eventually, you ain't gonna, <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to put on that one piece no more. <laughs> like, you ain't gonna be able to shake that plastic no more. Like, <laughs> yo, and good. honestly, when they're young, it be looking nuts. Like, looking like an anime character, the way they be shaped sometimes. Yeah. Um, and there was another incident. Uh, um, that chick Ari Fletcher. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know who she was until recently. Apparently that's G Herbo. I, I still don't know who she is. She, apparently she's the uh, mother of uh, G Herbo's son, like I guess his first child. Okay. Uh, but she had, I guess, reported, it was so vague initially, I guess she had reported that her son came home with a scar on his face. And like when I read it and saw it, cause it was funny, cause I saw it on Instagram and was like, whatever, like just scrolled past it. Then I was on Twitter and saw it again, scroll past it. Then when I was on YouTube, like later on in the day, it popped up like in the community post. So I'm like, well, what is this about? Like, you know what I mean? So the story was so vague initially, apparently it just said that their child came home with like a scratch or a scar on his face. And my thing is, my, exactly, my thing is, like I could walk out of the room and turn around and my child scarred up. Like, kids get scarred up every day. All, all day, every day. So now apparently she's trying to blame it on G Herbo's current. Uh, I don't know if, all right, if him and uh, Tiana are married or not. Because he, he, uh, he dated Fab Daughter. I don't know if they're married or not, but apparently she's trying to blame it on her. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Like the stuff that people make news or, or do for attention or like put out there, it's like, my thing is why is this stuff news? I agree. This is ultimately what I'm getting at. Like, why is this news? Nah, in so many media outlets is, that it's 
people trying to, you know, make dollars. So. But it gets pushed so heavy and hard. Like the fact that, like I said, it's on my feed. I mind you, I don't follow G Herbo or ever look G Herbo up. I didn't know who this woman was. And the fact that I'm seeing it on my feed, on my feed, on my feed. So clearly tabloids think this is a big deal. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like connected to hip hop. So true. Look at hip hop. This is true. A lot of that stuff I don't even pay attention to because I don't even, I don't, it's either I don't know the individuals, I don't know what they do for a living, I don't know if they make music, I don't know if they sell a pass, I don't know, <laughs> I don't, I just don't know, so I just don't pay attention to it. You know it's going to be funny, you're going to have a rapper, yeah, I rap and sell <laughs> ass on the <laughs> like, I rap yeah. and sell ass, what's good, man? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like the, like the women, like you can, you could put like a, you could put like a, a picture up online of a quote unquote female or like a beautiful face with all this makeup on, with some random ass title, and I won't, I won't know who she is because unless you like wild lyrical and we've already been listening to you or or what have you, I'm not gonna know who you are. Like, like I said. If you sell an ad, like I don't sit around and watch porn, so I don't I don't know that you sell an ad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't know. Unless you spitting bars, I'm not gonna know like who you know what I'm saying? Like or, who you are. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Speaking of news, you should uh, your man Wiz is back in the gym apparently. No, Wiz uh, I mean Wiz on my Instagram page, the, the dude is always doing stuff. Like, yeah. that's what I my thing was why he working out in boxes. Oh yeah, that, that's that's. Well, he a he has he, he always done that. Yeah, he <laughs> all, you know what I mean? The spandex drawers, cause he yeah. little as hell. I mean, he's not a big dude, but just but he like been, he been doing like he's like just a, um, not compression shorts. He, he There's working. like literally spandex boxes. He, he be in uh, like MMA, MMA like kickboxing and yeah. stuff like that. He's been doing that. For, it's been oh, you can tell. Years. I mean, it, no, no, no I, I knew like recently his physique. Change like yeah. dudes in good shape versus just being wild skinny. What but, was like six four, six five? Yeah, he like six four or something like that. But it was just funny to see. Like I heard people talk about it, and then when I actually saw it, I'm like, wait, he's actually working out in boxes. Like I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, just imagine going into like whatever gym, like me going into Edge or Anytime Fitness with just my box. Nah, you know who else did that before too? Who? Oh. Then um. Was it Mike Tyson working out in like his damn drawers when he was part oh, Yeah, I seen that recently yeah. too. Yeah, he, he was, was. Yeah. he was. Mike hands were still working yeah, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> old, not, but that's old Mike, school, Mike. No old. disrespect, Mike. I don't want no problems. Not at all. Nah, but my man Wiz, man, he be making moves and like not for nothing, like home is like highly entertaining, you know. Like well home, like I scroll through and it's just entertainment as far as what he does and how he like uh, And like you said, he definitely stay busy. Stay busy, hopped on a plane, went somewhere, performed, hopped on, you know what I'm saying, went somewhere else, was in a club, like, and you know, he's showing, like, his, he, you know, always doing his whistle, mm. you know what I'm saying, mm. you know, doing the extra, yo, all the time, like, you know what I'm saying, I respect it, though, you know what I'm saying, so. And then, now that you mentioned Mike, Mike said something funny recently, too, like, on a podcast, like, I think it has something to do with, like, shrooms, where... Somebody was like, how much you going to take or whatever? He was like, let me eat the whole eighth or something crazy. Like, <laughs> you saw that? You caught that? I, was, I, think I, know what you're I don't remember. I, I should have sent it. Yeah, I should have sent it to the group. But it was like, you know, the dudes in the pile was looking at him like, yo, you for real? But home was dead serious. Because you know he got a weed farm too. So home, he said he smoked like 40 grand a month just by himself, which is nuts. What? Yeah. I wonder if he was smoking when he was getting in shape for that exhibition. But yeah, I mean, at one point in time. He, wisdom, right? No, 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 Mike Tyson. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he has said, like, at one point in time, he... Uh, oh, on the, on the, like, was it, my bad, but he was on, like, uh, the, the interview or whatever. Yeah, he said he yeah, spent, like, 40 yeah, bands yeah, a yeah. month just smoking weed. But, obviously, you know, he got his own weed farm, so, I mean, you could do that. You could do that. But, like, when Holmes said he eat whatever it was, like, for the shrooms, like, it was some yeah, was ridiculous amount, shrooms. like, he was... <laughs> no, nah, that's, I mean, honestly, that's not really a ridiculous amount. I mean, to someone who don't eat them, it sounds crazy right. to me. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It was, but everybody's face in that interview was like looking at him like, yo, he's serious right now. Hey, it was, um, I guess to circle back for a minute, did y'all see what happened? Uh, the, uh, I believe it was uh, the House of Senate, the Senate, there was a, 
I don't remember the exactly, but I know there was a bill passed. Yeah, to decriminalize uh, to decriminalize marijuana on a federal, federal level. level. Yeah. Federal, yeah. Um, Did it, it would, go to the Senate? No, I don't know. It just passed. It. I think it's it passed. Yeah. No, I'm lying. The bill was passed. That's what it was. Yeah, now yeah, it has yeah. to go through Senate. Yeah. But um, it was to de decriminalize marijuana, and I think it has something to do with like current any current active cases. Yeah. We're gonna be dropped or dismissed or something like that as oh, well. I thought, it, I thought it was current impact. That could be good. Could be. I don't know 100, percent but like this is, this is good. This is good for the people, man. I um, I wonder how many. I wonder what the numbers are gonna look like in terms of federal convictions or cases that are gonna be dropped once this passes, if it passes. You know what I mean? Uh, shit. Your mic. <laughs> I caught you. Uh, well, he just did a me moment. Yeah, he, <laughs> his, he had it sitting all the way down. <laughs> got you know, I'm, 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 I'm freaking. I think there's, I think there's stuff like on a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to just immediately release, you know, this a, a damn drug kingpin that that's been pushing freaking three hundred pounds of some OG Kush. <laughs> A week, you know what I'm saying? True. I just think it's dope, cause like you know, with all these states, especially like now, mind some of these states, I know like California, with like the shit being legal, um, there's been like some financial issues. Yeah. Uh, like with the company, small mom and pop companies, like trying to really keep things going, cause the fees and taxes is od. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think it's dope that one, it was done on a state by state. And then get to a point where the feds just gotta say, nah, you know what, we gotta follow suit. Yeah. Um, but that, I'm happy, you know what I mean? No fed charges for like a lot of people soon. And then I think it's just needed to happen, you know what I mean? And then yeah. the amount of people that you're gonna not, it's gonna save us money as well. Cause you gotta think about all the people that won't be incarcerated behind a, a, a weed charge, you Yo, know what I mean? we don't hurt nobody. Yeah, I bring that argument up with people all the time. I'm like, yo, you got a dude who smoked weed, right? What is he going to do? He about to either watch a movie and eat hella junk food, or he's smashing, he's smanging something, or he's going to bed. One of three things is happening when you, when you smoke weed. He's smanging something. Smanging. He's about to smash it and bang it. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like... Yo, you know that's a song, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, smash it, girl, smash it, and bang it. Did you, you know that? that? <laughs> nah. Yes. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to show Yo. that to you. Oh man, yeah, they got a joint called "Smang It, Smash It, and Bang It." Hilarious. Oh, yeah, and they got a, they got wow. another song too that's funny. That? Yeah, they got some other wild joint, but um. Yeah, and then think about it too, like yo, have you you've never seen nobody? Think about like all the all of um all the licks on the corner, right? Or just out there, homeless licks. Yeah. Ain't nobody, ain't no pothead begging for no bread to go cop some weed. Nah. Like, real talk, most potheads, granted, there is a ton of unemployed ones, but most of them can go to work, work, get through their day, and that's what they do on the wind down at the end of the day. Ain't nobody robbing no convenience store to get some weed. Ain't nobody breaking into your house to get some weed. Exactly. You know, you get a true lick. Ain't nobody OD <laughs> exactly. That's so, in a, like, but in all seriousness, I've never seen or heard somebody like really no. doing anything. Like, you do some stupid shit when you high, but it ain't never like to the point where you really gonna endanger yeah, somebody. Yeah, you go to the store and I get funyuns. I hate when people funyuns. Don't go to the grocery store. It's high. like a detriment to like, the community. Man, fuck out of here. I'm wildin'. Wildin'. We ain't doing nothing. Hey, yo, that prime example of that, right? So. Just think about all the concerts we done gone to over the years, right? Mm -hmm. We go to concerts. I, I could probably count on one hand how many fights I've seen at concerts when yeah. we go to these shows. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because you got two things that unite people. Mm -hmm. We, you give a bunch of people some weed that don't know each other, mm -hmm. they're going to have some of the illest conversation ever. Thanks. You throw some music on top of that? Hold on, I ain't going to We almost killed me. <laughs> we uh, nah, we gotta hear this whole story. <laughs> the, oh. the amount of weed that was being passed around in smoke and a style's pee 
<laughs> meet and greet. It damn near made me pass the hell out. Ah, bro. <laughs> I was so was catching that contact, contact high. high. I said immediately after being in there for like 30 minutes, I got to go. Mm. I wanted to exit the building. The sauce is probably standing there like this normal. Fam was like, listen, just. Nobody Sam, came up to you just, like, yo, SPUI? Just, right? just hold it there. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, alright, bro. Man, I wanted to get up out of there. You like, ain't step outside for a few minutes? I had to. Mm. Multiple times. Okay. Multiple times. I want to go yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't tell nobody this story. <laughs> that shit was so cloudy in there, right? <laughs> and it made me so nervous in there, right? This was in the studio, too, right? Yeah. It made okay. me so nervous in there, right? I left the hammer in the whip. I went out, I went back outside to get the hammer. And um, on my way back in, I got patted down again. <laughs> right? Bodyguard was like, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you, why are you trying to get back up in here with this? You know you don't need this. I'm like, yo, I told him, I, I said it just like this. Man, you know where we at, man. Everybody <laughs> that motherfucker high right now, man. I just started getting paranoid because I don't smoke. I got a, I call, I call, I call to contact myself, like, call myself, the heart is racing, call myself, falling, call myself, falling asleep, I felt like I was in danger, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I just That's wanted hilarious. to be on point, That's hilarious, bro, <laughs> he has nervous, bro, 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 I, you know, they told me, like, nah, I went back, I put it back in a whip, <laughs> <laughs> I was good, though, was it no problems, all night, I was good, or, that's hilarious. Yeah, but not like real talk though. Like when you music plus the weed together, people yeah. most cats ain't they not trying to start no issues. They just yeah. there to enjoy themselves and have fun. Yeah. So I just think it's funny that like for years it's always been paid, painted in such a bad light yeah. when you got other substances that's really fucking people up. Yeah. Excuse my language. Yo, when you watch the old school wild uh Woodstock concert footage, just everybody just wild high. Yep. No problem. Chilling. Yeah, everybody just chilling, yeah. stoned out, having you sex, crazy. listening to good music, yep. out there wild crazy, 30 bro. with no care in the world. <laughs> Not just a single living thing. it up. Thousands upon thousands of people. Yeah, you know, so man. let me ask you this. Do you feel like, boom, do you feel like the federal government is truly coming to their senses with that, or they just finally realize, like, all right, this is stupid. This doesn't need to be, you know, uh, labeled or scheduled um, in the same class as, like, coke. Or do you think they realize, like, hold on, we can make money off of taxing this, too? Yeah, I feel like it's a quick money grab. It, it mm -hmm. has 100% everything to do with taxes because you figure certain states are already, you know, legalized right. it mm -hmm. so they see the revenue coming in right and obviously by now you would you would be able to you would be able to see you know uh the comparison via legalization and crime rate rate crime rate hasn't gone up since you know the shit been you know legalized everything right. is on an even kill still so like i wonder how many are less fewer arrests like drug charges there's been in those states that have legalized it I'm sure plenty, plenty, and I'm sure you know we got wild cr crooked cops in America. Man, these Bruh. cops, are, these cops is probably pulling people over with like two, three pounds of weed and saying, you know what, man? Nah, yo, just give me that. Just Listen to out. this. Just leave. Just give me the weed. Just leave. Listen to this. <laughs> there was a story out of California. There was a dirty cop from one town. So out in California, right? You can only have X amount on hand in your dispensary. Well, like, oh, in the dispensary? In your dispensary. Or in your person? Well, just in your dispensary itself. Okay. So, like, dispensary owner, you, yeah. as a dispensary owner, I don't remember, I don't know what their numbers are, but they couldn't, it's not like you could say, hey, I got 50 pounds on the premises. Like, yeah. they have to basically have a storage unit where they store stuff, where they store, like, their overhead their yeah. product. So, basically, there was a cop from one, like, town or county came over to another town or county went to the storage unit of a legitimate business. Mm -hmm. They tied up the workers that were there that night. There was an alarm tripped, right? So it was him and like two other cops and like a friend. So actual police department from that town or county comes, 
He meets him at the front gate. He's just like, hey, I got a warrant for this unit, blah, blah, blah. Fake warrant. They just let him go. You know, cops always backing each other, let him go. So they go in there. They basically clean out this entire storage unit. It's like the biggest unit that they have. Mm -hmm. And they got X amount of whatever pounds out of there. So after that, the actual employees, so they called the cops. And then when the um, owner of the dispensary went to the unit the next day to actually you know, basically grab what he needed for the store, mm -hmm. he was dry. So he had to call the cops too. So this cop got arrested for robbery and then for kidnapping and some other charges because they tied the, the employees up who were there that night. Yeah. So wild crooked cops who were looking at that like it's a money grab too. Yeah. But my thing is they had to really been sitting on that to know. Like you just, you had to follow this guy to know where he's keeping his stuff stored or his carrier or whoever. Absolutely. So I just thought that was pretty wild. So there's definitely more money to be made, but then I feel like more people are going to be taxed and those prices about to go up because of that type of nonsense. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, leave the weed heads alone. They ain't hurting nobody. Nobody. At all. Um, if anything, they bringing people together. Mm -hmm. There was a, um, I watched this joint on YouTube. Um, it was a, a priest, a rabbi, and a gay dude. And they all had one thing in common? No, so they had, <laughs> nah, like, it was, I forgot what channel it was, but this channel was funny. Matter of fact, I had let you put it on before because they had the three grandfathers, so they let sit lean. I had sent that to you. This is a while ago. Yeah, so they do like some shit like it's the first time. So on this particular episode, it was a gay dude, a priest, and a rabbi. They gave all three of them their own joint. Mm -hmm. And they had smoked together for the first time. And like, these dudes are just baked. And now when I tell you, they was just talking, going in, mm -hmm. wild funny, like wild hilarious. Um, then there was another time they had like some older people, it was like three grand, like grandfathers, Gave them like a small cup of lean, let them sit there. They sipping it, just drinking and talking like, and just like basically enjoying the high, you know what I mean? And yeah. just seeing how people act on camera. I think it's a brilliant thing. Um, but it was pretty, it was pretty hilarious. But think about it, a priest, a rabbi, and a gay dude. You never catch them three together in a room, sitting down, having a conversation just on some every day. No. And they, that's just, and it's not because they hate each other. That's just, they don't walk that same path on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I thought it was pretty dope. And then like that to me was just like, yo, that's how you see like this stuff really bring heads yeah. together. Um, not like the alcohol, you know, some dudes get extra aggressive when they drunk. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes that be me. I be out here, I be out here. Now, party. think about it, think about I bars be, and clubs though. Like, I be wanting to wrestle, I be wanting a bear hug. <laughs> think about it like real talk in your younger years you go to a bar or club somebody had a ton of liquid courage yeah now they want to be hella aggressive yeah true versus dudes who smoke weed and go to concerts true. everybody's there for the music alcohol is way more negative facts yeah, you kind of quiet player you ain't got nothing to add to this i'm chilling he, he over there acting like he just got high with Snoop. Yo, mm -hmm. man, you know, I'm just taking it in, you know, everything is very factual, you know. <laughs> if I need to tune in, you know, I'll chime in, you know. What y'all think about that Smoke Olympics situation SP was they talking need to do about? It. You know, they need to do it. What would be the criteria for something like that, though? And who would you want to see in there? I don't know. Yo, I, I, I don't have no input on this because, I, like I said, like, I don't smoke, don't, uh, as far as like smoking, pertaining to, you know, people that we follow. Real talk. The individuals I know that smoke a lot is Snoop, Currency, mm -hmm. SP, Dizza. Yep. Um, Wiz. Wiz. Red and Math. Yup, Red, Red and Math. Um, but no, real talk, there's mad rappers out there that, you know, supposedly smoke, especially now, because... Be real. I've heard... Yeah, anybody, any all cypher so honestly. Yeah. I don't know how true it is, but, like, mixing certain drugs, you can smoke weed all fucking day, apparently. I don't know how true that shit is, but I'm saying certain of these. But, uh, <clears throat> it's possible for cats to <clears throat> do a big arena type shit. Yeah, but it, it, it would have to be legal on a federal level, I think. You know what I mean? To pull something off like that. Yeah. And then again, I feel like it has to be more to it. Like, you're not just going to want to sit there and to watch a bunch of... To have a smoke-a-thon? Like, a, like, 
let's say like a like a like a versus mm. a, a smoke a thumb fucking versus you would think it would have to be like on a on a federal level to have that type of event well, the way I'm you looking mean at the legality it, I'm of about, it? yeah, like, no, 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 I'm talking about, like, it could be as big as, as like, them selling out, like, type stadium type, big type of venue type shit, having those thrown there, because everybody that's attending is gonna want to smoke, too. Yeah, but how into, let's look at it like this, too. How, how entertaining, entertaining do you really think it would be? Well, that's what I was about to get at. All right. Our first well, contestants you know, are Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. We ain't just Step gonna, up. It, it would always have to be more to it than like, just. It has to be like a podcast oh, lamp. They gotta be yeah, sitting there like, smoking, talking. There's like, gotta be yeah. More the to first it. person to tap out. There's gotta be much extracurricular activity going on. Like, yo, we, yo, but do you put a time frame on um, how quick they gotta to, smoke that? How smoke the quick they gotta smoke that joint? Bro, we would be sitting here watching these two people smoking. Yeah, that could, it could be very time for freaking twelve hours. Like say, yo, you got thirty minutes to smoke this ounce. If you can't do it in the thirty minutes, then you disqualify. True. On to the next one, and just True. like mm. on some bracket yeah, type it would be, shit. It'll have to be mad, well, yeah. Like something yeah. crazy like that. It'd be, right. It would have to be like the first person to smoke an ounce in under forty-five minutes. Mm. Oof, that's a lot of that's a lot of flour. So, I mean, not saying it can't be done in a day, but forty-five minutes to burn all that down. Yeah, your lungs are gonna be hot. But on top of that, I feel like just sitting there watching that dude's got to be in a, It's got to be almost like a podcast type of layout or you got to have other things going on. Nah, it would have to be like very eventful type. Of That's layout. what I'm saying. There's got to be other stuff going on. Like you got to have like a mini concert, maybe a comedian up there yeah. or like telling jokes, like yep. something else. Almost like a festival type ordeal. Yeah. In a sense. But like not on a rise. I don't, I don't know. You could even do that too. But I mean, I don't know that. That but yo, shit, I, oof, that shit could, eat, that'd be ill. Yeah. That'd be ill. Think about yeah, it, though. Nothing can't be pre rolled either. You gotta roll up. You mm. gotta roll up in front of the whole, yeah, the, everybody, yeah. the whole joint, then get busy. Yeah. Yo, that'd be hilarious. Like, you get them, let them do smoke, talk, your anything. Choice, your choice of uh, weed, too. You get to pick what, 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 what grain you want or strain. He said grain. And, and uh, <laughs> roll up. <laughs> Roll up your strain of weed. <laughs> that, that, that wheat grain alcohol. <laughs> so, so let me get the barley strain there. That's stupid. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> but yo, just picture that. That'd be funny though. And then like you got live comedians, bro. Like you ain't gotta have, you know, top tier comedians, but I think that would be funny. Yeah. Um, there's so many ways I could be flipped or spun. Um, Man, holla at us. We put the idea out there, exactly, so you know, uh, exactly. holla at us, so we can make this happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's make it happen the right way. Word up. Um, that'd be pretty dope. We the plug. Yeah. So let me, now that since we talking about weed, could you imagine a, a art show with weed? Yo, I was yeah. just over here thinking of everything, like experience and all when it's open and ready. Mm -hmm. Weed? You got to throw an art gallery with weed. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you throw you go, a sneaker con with you, weed. You out, mm -hmm. and it's just legal now. Legal. And once everybody in there, lock the doors behind. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't mind. It'd be a good time. You know what I'm saying? It's just real right. Going some rides. Big <laughs> facts. Nah, that ain't for everybody. There's some people who start seeing shit and ruin your whole Six Flags trip. You know what I'm talking about. A certain individual. We're not gonna call her out. But uh Nah man, but for real though, like just just anything. Like go to the carnival, you know, roll the skin. Yo, think about it though, instead of a uh, uh You know how they got those sipping paints too? Yeah. Now you got a smoking paint. Yo, Matter of fact, I think yo, hold on, one. yo, we gotta mute that out. Somebody might try to steal that shit. I think that's it's a good ass idea. Damn, I, yo, somebody might try to steal uh, right. that. Beat. I ain't you even gonna that. hold you. Listen, I think it's an idea. Listen, smoking it doesn't beer. matter. We can still put it out there for ourselves. That's true, though. That's true. Listen, all the supporters out there, we appreciate you. We love you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, and um, you know we like being creative, and we love you guys. So smack that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed. Um, tickle that like button, you know what I mean? Share this video and get at us. I love you. Peace. Y'all want to throw something in there before we get out? Because I don't want to keep throwing out the ideas out there.
You know I got a lot of things to do. <laughs> oh my God, you know uh, how about you? <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I'm good. I don't even know how to come out of that. Yeah, but listen, man, y'all stealing your ideas? Not even stealing, but if you if you in uh, influenced by any of the stuff that we put out there, holler at us, man. Let's work together. Yeah. Don't do what's filthy. Let's work together. Peace. We love you. Bless.